Why would anyone aim the world's most sophisticated telescope at the same piece of sky for 28 days in a row? Answer, because it allows astronomers to see much further out and further back in time than ever before. American and European scientists today unveiled the deepest portrait of the visible universe ever achieved by humankind, the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Located in the constellation of Fornax, just below the constellation of Orion the Hunter, the image spans just one-tenth of the diameter of the full moon, but reveals an estimated 10,000 galaxies. The ultra-deep field shows galaxies that are two to four times fainter than Hubble could see previously, so Hubble takes us to within a stone's throw of the Big Bang itself. The first Hubble Deep Field was in 1995. When this uh, experiment was first proposed, an experiment consisting of staring at the same patch of the sky for weeks, nobody really knew whether it would have led to interesting scientific results. But when we first saw the images, the result was astonishing. We could see more than 3,000 galaxies in this small field, and we could definitely tell that the Hubble Deep Field has opened a new era in observational cosmology, transforming our view of the distant universe. After the first deep field, almost all ground and space-based telescopes were then pointed to this same area for long periods. Some of the most interesting results in astronomy emerge from these fruitful synergies between instruments of different sizes, in different environments, and with sensitivity to different wavelengths. These impressive dips into the depths of space and time have provided astronomers with the first glimpse of the history of young galaxies when the universe was only one billion year old. This has been one of the greatest and one of the strongest legacies of the Hubble Space Telescope. The new Hubble Ultra Deep Field image is studded with a wide range of galaxies of various sizes, shapes and colours. These faint galaxies give fossil clues as to how the universe looked in the remote past and how it may have evolved with time. The astronomers expect many fascinating scientific results to emerge from this image. For instance, the discovery of distant supernovae that will help understand the past and future of the universe. Undoubtedly, the image will also hold a number of surprises that will lead to unexpected discoveries. One of the great things about Hubble is that there are many different instruments on board the telescope that can make different observations at the same time. So what we're doing here is that we're analyzing data taken with an instrument that basically splits the light up into a rainbow of colors. And those observations are made with a grism like this one here. And they basically allow us to study the physical properties of galaxies in a lot of detail and really learn how these things work, what powers them. This historic new view is actually two separate images taken by two instruments. Hubble's ACS camera and the NICMOS instrument. The combination of ACS and NICMOS images will be used to search for galaxies that existed between 800 and 400 million years after the Big Bang. NICMOS sees even further than the ACS. It reveals the furthest galaxies ever seen because the expanding universe has stretched their light into the near-infrared portion of the spectrum. When Hubble looks at the very distant universe, it looks back in time. We could try to sketch this. If this is the Hubble Space Telescope here, here we are, 14 billion years after the Big Bang. The first Hubble Deep Field was able to see out to here, 12 billion years of cosmic history. This new ultra deep field pushed this exploration beyond, further back in time. So that for the first time, we can access the first billion year of cosmic history. And for the first time, we can see first stars and the first galaxies which form right at the end of the so-called dark ages. The NASA ESA Hubble Ultra Deep Field is likely to remain the deepest image of the universe for the next decade or so until an ESA Ariane rocket launches the James Webb Space Telescope in 2011. <laughs>